Hey guys, Sav here. Uh, today we're going to do Verdant Break map completion tips and tricks. Uh, for the most part, map, Verdant Break is a pretty easy map to map complete. So I'm really just going to show you guys two tricks to this map to make your map completion uh, a whole lot easier. It'll require uh, bouncing mushrooms and advanced gliding. And if you have both of those things, it'll make your map completion just easier. Uh, this map, the only thing that bars you from map completion on this map is gliding. You need the gliding mastery. Outside of that, there's nothing else holding you back. You might have to wait till nighttime to do a lot of this stuff. However, this trick is going to show you, there's actually two tricks, that's going to show you how to get up when it's not daytime. Or, I'm sorry, when it's not nighttime. Um, you know, for, and again, it's going to require advanced gliding about bouncing mushrooms. So right now, I am outside of the Malagans Valor Waypoint in the Broken Bluffs. Uh, I think a lot of people know about this by now. However, if you do not, I will show you. And that's the point of this video. Uh, so we are going to head up into the canopy and from the uh, waypoint, you can see I just ran straight over to here. You can see this updraft right here. I can actually hit that from right here. So updraft right into it from there. And then we're heading right for this updraft. Which will take us all top of this crashed airship. Now you need to come up here for other parts of map completion. For instance, this vista. Uh, however, it doesn't... I'm going to show you uh, another trick. Uh, once you get this vista, uh, in order to help you finish map completion, I'm going to get this... Well, this That's the vista up there. That's actually not where I'm heading. I'm heading over towards... Uh, I'm heading over here. Basically towards this point of interest, which I don't, I don't actually have yet. Uh, I don't... I'm not 100% sure. It's been a while since I've done it, guys, so I'm not 100% sure. You may actually even need the bouncing mushroom to get this point of interest. So originally, in the vi beginning of the video, I said uh, the only thing that holds you back in this place is inverted break from doing map completion is the gliding mastery itself. Uh, you may also need bouncing mushrooms. I, I don't, I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember. Uh, if not, then the... I'm not sure if the helicopter drops you off right where I'm going right now or basically where, where I'm standing and you have to hit the mounting mushroom or the helicopter might actually just drop you up there uh, at nighttime. So I could be wrong. You may not need this bouncing mushroom. However, this bouncing mushroom will take us up there during the daytime. And you will get uh, that point of interest. Now the point where you need the advanced gliding is we can actually glide from here basically almost any almost anywhere else in the canopy um, so we're gonna head over that point of interest actually no we're, we're gonna head over this section of the map I do believe there's one more point of interest over here somewhere I'm just having a hard time locating it uh, that is in the canopy it might be over here it's the it's where the patriarch spawns basically guys where I'm trying to go and you can yes absolutely from where I'm standing go all the way over to that as long as you have advanced gliding there are enough enough updrafts in the canopy for you to basically stay up here forever if you have advanced gliding I'm assuming you need advanced gliding I'm not even actually 100 percent sure advanced gliding will obviously make it easier uh, because you could just you can just glide forever uh, however if you don't have advanced gliding obviously um, you need to go from updraft to updraft. And you might be able to do it. Now, again, I'm leaning, so um, it might be running out faster than regular gliding does. I'm not sure. We're going to head over to this section over here, to just to the north. Uh, there's a point of interest up there that I did not get yet. And again, with all these updrafts, I should be able to make it just about anywhere in the canopy. As you can see, with room to spare, we made our way up here into the silent woods. Uh, 
Uh, we are gonna head. I, I thought the Patriarch spawned here, but I don't see a point of interest. I know there is a point. I thought there was a point of interest for the Patriarch Perch. I guess I could be mistaken. But we're gonna head over here. I, I, maybe the Patriarch's down here. I thought it was here. Maybe it's down here. We should be able to make it gliding. Hopefully. Yeah, that that one. There we go. Okay, so that is the Patriarch's perch. Yep, and there is a. I knew there was a point of interest. And I should. I think just getting down in here. I might have to climb a little bit. I might have to climb a little bit. There should be another updraft for me somewhere. I don't have to go all the oh crap. I don't have to go all the way to the top to get the Patriarch Perch. Yeah, I'm not making that. Unfortunately I'm not making that. Appear to be another updraft around for. Oh, there's one. All right, so we're heading for that one. Try to get way back up again. There's some mini updrafts around here. I should be able to hit one of them to take me high enough to get that point of interest. I don't think I can actually land on the Patriarch Perch without a helicopter, or without it being nighttime, I should say. Uh, but if I get just underneath of it, it will give me the point of interest. I don't have to actually get to the top. There we go. I should just walk under here and yep. Yeah, precarious perch. And again, I started gliding way over here. Uh, we started from the Malagans uh, Valor Waypoint, climbed our way up, and started gliding essentially from the Ascendance Ring. We glided up to here and then glided all the way down to here. To get that waypoint, that point of interest. Now, this took a little bit more effort. You have to kind of finagle your way up, but it is possible to get up here. You don't have to get all the way on top. Again, you only have to get under, just underneath of it, to get the precarious perch. Uh, I will show you guys another way to get up into uh, the canopy. All right, so I'm basically underneath of where I just was. I was up here in the precarious perch, and I went to the shrouded ruins waypoint, and we're going to start climbing from here. Uh, the events haven't been done here, so this, these rocks and stuff are here, but it's not a big deal. You can just squeeze in between them like that. Get my war horn out. Okay, so we climbed up the steps, and there was a bouncing mushroom here. Again, like I told you guys before, you're going to need bouncing mushrooms uh, for these shortcuts. And we're he we're this is where we are. I don't know how really much else to say about it. Uh, and you can see this like sloped uh, hill here. We're gonna make our way up here. Kind of got to finagle it a little bit, and end up over here. And then we're gonna climb up this vine. Onto this part. Onto this part. Back a little bit to get onto this part. Okay, we're, you can see we're kind of running out of room here, so we're actually going to glide across to here. Alright, uh, this is kind of a dangerous spot we're about to land. This is also will get us to the uh, jumping puzzle for this map. If you guys don't know where the jumping puzzle is, uh, you will shortly know, because I'm going to show you. Run through here. This would do do west to this bouncing mushroom. Hit the bouncing mushroom, and it'll shoot us right to the beginning of the jumping puzzle. This is where the jumping puzzle begins. Uh, I did it one time, and that was good enough for me. I never intend to do that jumping puzzle again. It was a pain in the ass. Uh, right across the way there, you can see that's where the matriarch spawns. 
However, we can't actually get to the matriarch for where we are right now unless we go to the top of the jumping puzzle, which I don't actually don't even think we can jump out. I don't remember what the top of the jumping puzzle looks like. Uh, but what we are going to do is we are going to glide towards the Guano Hero Point, if you guys know what that is. And we'll find some updrafts along the way that will get us up to there. Or I should say down to there. We actually don't even hit, I don't even think we need to hit the updraft. We could probably glide, just lean glide. Nah, we might have to hit the updraft. I'm kind of losing altitude here. But that's where the Guano HP spawns, right over here. And we're going to hit this updraft and we're going to do a 180. As soon as we get to the top of it. Make our way around to this. You can see there's another big updraft. Hit that big updraft, and then just. I'll basically just show you how to get back to the highest point in the map again, I guess. Because it's where we. Oh, I'm going to kind of get into that one. Oh, I can nail. I'm going to head back. It, some of this stuff, guys, you just kind of got to finagle around. You may, it may not be a direct path, but just look for these really big um, updrafts and hit them. And then look for other ways. Like, I'm, we're going to hit this one right here to take us up a little bit higher. And if we make our way around, we were here already. I showed you guys when I, you know, the first time around. So basically, I'm already on, our, on my way here. Yeah, that was where we got, that is the, uh, the Silent Woods area. Uh, point of interest that I showed you guys earlier. See this big updraft back here. We're going to hit that. Way, way, way up. I'm heading south again. And as you can see, guys, we finally made our way. I made a couple of wrong turns, so the video had to be cut a little bit there. Uh, we finally made our way back to uh, the precarious perch for the patriarch. It's precarious. What is it called? Yeah. Precarious perch. I was right. I'm gonna miss this. Damn it! I'm gonna miss this. It's all right. You guys get the idea at this point. You can make it. I'm done doing this. I've been at this for 10 minutes now. I keep making wrong turns. Anyway. So there's two ways to get into the canopy relatively easily. Um, again, it's going to require bouncing mushrooms. It's going to require advanced colliding for you to use those shortcuts. Otherwise, this map, like I said, is 100% completable with literally just gliding. You need nothing else to complete this map. Uh, as soon as you hit gliding... It'll help you get every. It'll help you get everything else that you're gonna need on this map. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish the map completion. Um, go over here, get this vista. There's a point of interest over here I haven't even covered yet. Another vista. Uh, I don't think there's anything else too tricky along the way. If something comes to mind, I'll cut in. But otherwise, the next time you'll see me, I'll be opening my chest. All right. So a little background here, guys. What I'm doing here. I need one more point of interest. Uh, I figured out where it was by process of elimination on the wiki. Because it's not showing up on my map at all. And just to show you guys, I'm heading towards the canopy over Jaka Itzel. Which is not, you can see the words are not currently on my map. Even though the map is showing that I have that area uncovered, you don't actually see the words canopy over Jaka Itzel. Uh, and there's a waypoint over here, or point of interest, I'm sorry, a point of interest over here that I don't have. That in a recent patch, I remember they made it so that it wouldn't show up um, you know, if you were in the wrong uh, if you were in the wrong um, whatever, I don't even know what to call this, the wrong tier I guess. However, they've kind of made it just not show up at all so I actually don't see it at the moment. I'm just hoping to find it. I think I'm over Jock It's No, I still gotta get further to get to Jock It's so what's over here still. I was showing you the wrong area on the map. As you can see, it doesn't say canopy over Jock It's so I wasn't making that part up. Uh, the point of interest I'm going for is Last Leap. 
Again, they, they, they quote-unquote fixed it because it used to show up uh, if you're on the mid-tier. And actually wouldn't show for whatever reason if you're in the canopy. Uh, unless you actually got the waypoint or the point of interest, then it would show. But the empty uh, point of interest box would show if you were on the mid-tier. Um, so it was confusing to a lot of people for a long time. They fixed it, but they broke it at the same time because now it just doesn't show up at all on the map. Which is kind of stupid. Okay, so now we're in Canopy of Rajaka Itzel, so I'm assuming it's going to be on here now, alright? Yeah, okay, just south. Okay. I get it. Oh, fuck, I'm actually, uh... I turned to, to uh... There we go. I think this is it. Okay, and this is another thing. If you happen to take, uh, if you take the uh, helicopters at night, you will easily get up here. But if you don't, that's how I got up here. So that's map completion, Vernon Brink, guys. It wasn't. I didn't really show you guys a whole lot. There's really not a whole lot here that's tricky or hard to do. Uh, the main thing that you guys want to do is, especially if it's your first time coming through, is take your time. Explore the map, uh, take the helicopters at night, do all five of the different champions in the different areas. They'll take you to points of interest that you can't get otherwise. Uh, they'll also help you get to hero challenges that you can't get to otherwise. You can glide from the uh, areas of these uh, boss locations at night to the points to the uh, hero challenges that are in the canopy. Uh, so it's not that big of a deal. As far as hero challenges that need help, uh, the two that are in the canopy, you're probably going to need help. Um, that would be the Guano, which is over here, and the Golem, which is over here. And the only other one on this map that you're probably going to need help on is uh, this one over here. I forget what it's called, but it's the one with the frogs. Uh, that one's pretty difficult. Um, I don't think you're going to be able to... Uh, maybe you're a really good player, but you're probably going to need help. Um, they're not easy. Or considered group content, air quotes, you can't see me air quoting, but I'm air quoting. Uh, so that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.